I tell you, I've been waiting on it, waiting on it, and I've been patient, and uh, just, you know, when you have the uh, withdrawal symptoms, and you just want something to just uh, melt your spine, mm. I think I have that for you this morning, folks. It's tech time, and we got with us Carlette! Hey, Francois! Oh, boy, that's what I wanted to hear! <laughs> Good morning to you! Good morning! I missed you! Happy August and September, September and things yeah, like that! all of that! Wow! Thank you! It's been for such back. a. Uh, well, it's been too long! It, it's been way too long! Yeah, well, I mean, we like Capo and everything, but yeah! No, no, Capo was trying to uh, take you away from me, <laughs> and I'll not have it! I agree! He could I'll never not have it! Thank you very much! He could much. try, but he could never do it! All right! Uh, Danae and I were speaking earlier on, and I want to see which side you come down on this. Yes. We were talking about we were talking about cars and, mm. and manuals and whether people read the manuals and things like that. Mm. Uh, do you read the manual when you get uh, new techie stuff, or you just have to play around and figure it out? Both. Oh. Yeah. I think reading the manual is a good idea. It I saves think, you some time. I think it's a good idea too. I mean, I'm going to get it in my hand. I'm going to touch it. I'm going to feel it. I'm going to yeah. play with it for a couple of minutes. What are you talking about now? Hour. I'm talking about the tech toys. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Let me be clear. All right. <laughs> As President Obama would say. And then I put it down and I go through the manual to pick up things that I didn't understand or couldn't figure out. So that's what I do. I, I do it the other way around. I look at the manual, figure out some of the basic major things that I need to know. Mm -hmm. And even after reading the manual, I'm going to learn more by just playing around with it yes. so uh, that's that's how I'd go oh. I'll refer to the manual all right and yes I've read my car manual okay very good very good um, uh, technology for today where are we going with 3D this 3d TV everybody's been talking about 3d TV. I see some ads on the TV yeah. and I see one really confusing ad yes we there's can. an ad that says this TV, which named so-and-so 3D TV, mm -hmm. has been voted the best 2D TV. <laughs> and I'm thinking... What? What? <laughs> and understandably so. Understandably so. But <clears throat> if it is that you're going to make an investment, and in Jamaican terms, anywhere between quarter of a million and half a million dollars yeah. oh. to buy a, a, a 3D TV, you want to make sure that you can watch 2D TV on it as well, because there's very limited 3D content. Everybody's TV is 2D, isn't it? Currently, um, all TVs are 2D. That just means it's two-dimensional. Right. You right? can see it, length and width. Right. That's it. But everything is flat. It does not have depth. Correct. 3D, as we know 3D when we put on the glasses at the movie, or wow. when we have looked at 3D pictures. Yes. That's that, graphic yeah. You almost feel like you're in there and you can see the depth. Yes. Some things appear before and each other. It moves other. around you and you're in the scene. You're, you're saying there are TVs that exist for home viewing yes, you can that do that. Indeed. We now have home theater 3D, which is great. Now, if you want to set up a, a 3D system at home, you need a couple of things. You need a new TV. Yes. As we've just said, an investment anywhere between a quarter of a million and half a million. Dollars. All right. You need a source. Um, in this case, I would recommend a 3D Blu-ray player these are the the um, DVD up to higher blu-ray players yes so you're gonna be renting movies and content you're gonna be renting. it's not coming through your cable it's not coming through your cable at this time in All this right. case direct TV is offering uh, 3d TV channels such as discovery but we don't have it yet in Jamaica discovery has a lot of content that's in 3d not a lot no they're developing it mm. so in time or there are some you know they had uh, the the cricket in South Africa, the 2020 competition, in 3D? they are shooting it in 3D. So yeah. uh, if if you if your service provider had it in 3D, you yes. could have you could have done that. Can you imagine sports in 3D? I hear ESPN is doing some 3D shooting as well. I would like to see that. Have yeah. you seen 3D TV as opposed to the movie? I have seen. 3D and you have to TV. put on the glasses I to watch your TV on or not? If you have a date glasses. and you're at home with your date on 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 your nice sofa with your big TV, mm -hmm. the glasses don't look. Cool anymore. They it's no longer cool. romantic. They don't look cool at all. And you have to buy a second pair of glasses because most times when you buy a 3D TV at half a million dollars, you only yeah. get one pair of glasses. Oh my and goodness. And you have to buy a second pair. You should get pair. four for the whole family. <laughs> Come on. I think. Um, oh, I want to make the point that 3D TV doesn't work well for children. What does that mean? means that children can't experience 3D TV. Their eyes are not big enough? Their eyes are not big enough, sort of. Um, the standard width between two adult eyes is 2.5 inches, I'm told. Mm -hmm. And because kids are smaller, the image for them needs to be different. So they can have special glasses that are narrower? 
they can have the special glasses but the, the projection is made for a 2.5 inch spread it's going to be most so. exciting to the kids so I'm this, you. this is counterproductive <laughs> it isn't is it? counterproductive but 3d tv is here um in addition to needing the the source like the blu-ray player or you right. can get a gaming device some gaming devices will be equipped with 3d later on um i believe starting with the ps3 um you also mm. need you may need new hdmi cables or oh, the the ones that that's may only for work. high definition yeah, oh. for hd 2d 2D HD. You lost a lot of people already, you know, because <laughs> I this know because this is a major investment. Yeah, it is a major investment, uh, but there are some distinct benefits. I mean, when you're watching content on a 3D TV, it can blow your mind. I can imagine. It I can, can also imagine. Blow your eyes. Um, lots of people have yeah. blurred vision. Lots of people have nausea. Lots of people have persistent headaches when they watch 3D TV. So it's not for everybody. Go in and test it out before you get it. And as I said, content is limited, but it is getting better. Uh, when you're looking for a good 3d tv you need to make sure that it also shows well in 2d mode because even though tv should show 2d it may not show it well you know this is not something that you're making it sound like i should get involved <laughs> with just yet you know it's 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 maybe a, a little ahead of its time i i am really sorry for the the persons who are selling 3d tv there are a number of good suppliers out there in jamaica but yeah i wouldn't spend that kind of money for the technology where it is now wow but if you want to impress your friends yeah with a sony a toshiba a panasonic a uh tivo which is a really good brand you can, mm -hmm. you can get a 3d tv now and okay. show it off to them i would think it makes a lot of sense for uh gaming at this point in mm -hmm. time uh, or you know, it's well, still with gaming. I was saying video games and things like that. But with the Wii and all yes, things with like the that. Yes, capture games. It's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be so cool. Now I'm not gonna get wow. a 3D TV. I know that. Why not? I know this now because when I watch TV, I tend to use my laptop. I tend to do other things. Oh, you want time. you want to multitask? And you can't do that with your no, glasses. No, no, you can't. You can only hey, look, you look at down the, the bottom, <laughs> just underneath the the glasses. And it's gonna hurt your eyes because as you move from the 3D image to the 2d image it your yeah, eye has to adjust and and things like it that is a problem and of course i wear glasses yeah so wearing glasses on top of glasses doesn't sound to me like a fun thing well i went to the movie and i i had on my glasses and they mm -hmm. i put on the 3d on top Around it really it. wasn't a problem to tell I, you the truth i watched the movie without my glasses maybe that's why i had the headache after <laughs> because something is funny about the image mm -hmm. if if you it's don't put on but I must admit, a good movie in 3D, after a while, you just forget about it. And a yeah. lot of people do say that after anywhere between 30 seconds to 2 minutes, their eyes and their body are just to the yeah. 3D image, and then it's, it's great. But when you first put it on, it is a little disconcerting. Just a little bit. Ah, come on. You can get used to that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not a problem. So when you're looking to spend that half a million dollars, another thing that I want you to look for is um, the, the quality of the 3D image. If it has a lot of crosstalk, meaning that the 3D images are a little blurry, mm -hmm. you want to buy a different TV. Oh, you mean I'm going to test it in the store yes. to see? You can go to the store okay. and, and watch a movie. But I, on the sofa. I tell you, uh, you're opening our eyes to this, but you're telling us to shut our eyes and uh, <laughs> pass it by. Um, uh, if, if it is that you have half a million dollars to, to blow on something really impressive, why not? I mean, get a, get a car, buy a 3D TV. Which is going to impress your friends more at half a million dollars? Well, a half a million dollar car may not impress them, but uh, okay. Uh, but the TV would. I'm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so I'm not buying it. You know, I wonder if we could set up like mini theaters. If I could buy one, put it in my house, invite my friends over and then charge them to watch my 3D TV. That might be, a, that might be an idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's not enough content. Not enough content to watch it regularly content. and things. Well, so. By 2011, there will be lots and lots of 3D content to make it worth your while. Well, check us back next year on that one. Okay. Um, uh, can we check the blog for a little bit more information for the half a millionaires? In a little bit. Who, who have it? All right. By the time we do the lightning round, you can check the blog. Okay, you can check the blog at uh, trivialonfame.blogspot.com. See, I remembered it uh, after well. all this time. And if you uh, have a question, they can tweet it or text it. Okay. Um, uh, text it. Uh, it's easier for me to look them up right now. At 878-FAME. That's 878 -FAME. Three two six three. Text us right now on 3D TV, or if you have other questions, mm -hmm. or if you just want to stump Carlette, yeah. then uh, that will be good. Text us right now. We'll get back to it, and uh, we'll have some more with uh, Tech Time. Got ten minutes? Get technified with Tech Time on Tuesday in Trivial Pursuit with Francois and me, Carlette, on the Blazing 95 FM.